Hello everybody and welcome to another week here on the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm your host Scott Fry. Just got done watching my wedding video so I'm in a great mood today. Uh, we're going to be starting a series on coffee and stains. And I've got my notes here. I've been trying to memorize things and keep things in my head to do these posts but so I don't ramble. But this is just going to be a whole lot easier just to write some things down on paper and keep me on track. But you know, I've got our little prop here today, and uh, one of the benefits of doing a couple posts on coffee is that I get to drink some really good coffee during our episodes. It's a good excuse to get some expensive coffee. Um, basically, the chemical compounds in coffee that are responsible for stain are what are called polyphenols. They're also responsible for flavor, ironically. And, you know, I don't know if many of you know this, but coffee actually has more of these flavor compounds than even wine and chocolate. I think it's, uh, coffee has like 900 and then wine has about 500 and chocolate has about like 250. You're going to have to double check me on that, that's just off the top of my head. But I was just, I was really impressed when I found that out too. Because you know, you would think everybody's tasting and swirling his wine on TV, um, but coffee actually has way, way more flavor compounds. And that's kind of why it also stains teeth a little bit. Usually when people are talking about polyphenols though, they are referring to them uh, as uh, antioxidants. So when you hear people talking about how coffee is great and full of antioxidants, that's essentially, those are the uh, compounds they're essentially talking about. So lots of things affect the content of uh, polyphenols in coffee and what makes it into your cup. And you know things like brewing, where they're grown, all sorts of stuff. And we're going to be tackling uh, all these different aspects in this little series of posts that we're doing. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind uh, is that caffeine, actually because it has a similar structure to uh, some of these polyphenols, is that things that go ahead and increase the caffeine content that make it into your coffee cup also increase the polyphenol content. Um, so basically, you know, what we're going to be covering today is just a quick blurb about um, roasting coffee and what that does to the polyphenol content before we get on to the big news I was talking to you about last week. Um, so what you need to know is when you go ahead, a lot of Starbucks basically goes with like a really dark roasted coffee, uh, French roast, and that actually produces the lowest content that you can possibly get from that particular bean of polyphenols and it actually has the lowest caffeine. It's not that much lower, it's maybe about three to five percent lower. Um, than what you would get if you had a medium or lighter roast. But it's, it's definitely a difference. So if you're interested in trying to go ahead and reduce the amount of stain that you're gonna get from coffee, I'd stick with a darker roast. Um, you know, keep drinking Starbucks. Uh, but if you're really interested in flavor, like I am, you would get a very nice cup of medium roasted coffee uh, that I got here from Aviano downtown. And I'm going to take a little sip because I'm going to pause because I can't. I've been leaving this here and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> and I got, this is like, uh, this is from Nicaragua today. And I read the tasting notes and it was like nougat and vanilla or something. That's really good. Um, yeah, I'm going to be up probably late. Because <laughs> it's like, it's 8 o'clock. We, we film these posts at night um, on like a Monday night usually or Sunday. And so yeah, uh, mm -hmm. so when I mentioned high polyphenol content, I mentioned the caffeine is probably also high. So I'll be up a little later tonight. But yeah, you know what you need to keep in mind with uh, coffee roast is the darker, the less polyphenol, the less potential to stain your teeth. Which is actually interesting because it's a darker roast and you think dark stain. It's weird. Um, but yeah. The big news for this week is that when we started this blog, uh, what, we, what I wanted to do is to try and go ahead and you know, give people the resources so that way we could reinvent the way people approach their oral health so that way we can make it more sustainable and simpler. And are you zooming in on me right now? Yes. Okay, you don't need to. <laughs> but what we wanted to do is we wanted to really expand our efforts to go ahead and improve oral health um, you know, nationwide, globally. But we want to really focus right now uh, our efforts locally too. Uh, and since you know, we're an orthodontic office, we have the ability to go ahead 
and donate some cases. So I want to get you guys the information here. Morethansmiles.org. Uh, we just put the website up this weekend. And what this is, is it's kind of, uh, we wrapped this, the Oral Health Network is a part of this. Uh, and that's going to be the, our, our educational uh, portion of this movement that we're starting. But we're also going to be going ahead and donating a minimum of six free uh, orthodontic cases to deserving young individuals uh, every year. And we've also got a great campaign, uh, check-ins for charity, that we're starting uh, with Facebook Places that are going to give all the great patients that we have out there a really easy way to make a difference. Uh, and 10 cents will be donated uh, for char to charity um, for every check-in. And what we're also going to do is at the end of the year, all our Facebook fans out there are going to get a chance to vote uh, to where they think um, the, the money should go and we're going to have lots of different oral health options and you guys can, uh, oral health charities, and you guys can even suggest a few if you want. Um, that would be really fun. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this. I told you it was some big news, um, but you're going to be hearing more about this in the future and I'd really like if, if you guys were to head over to morethansmiles.org, uh, just check out what we're all about. Take care everyone.